Hey, so I'm going to give you a quick run through on doing the flow along curve using that tool to lay out your text inside the band. So to get started, I am going to first select my ring rail, so the size 7 that I'm using, and I'm going to type length into the command bar. So length, L-E-N-G-T-H, and then I'm going to hit enter. And if you look up here, you'll notice that it tells me what the length of that circle is. That's 54.458 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mouse across that and do a control C, excuse the little beep on my computer, do a control C to copy that so I don't have to jot that down someplace. You can, of course, write it down as well. Now I'm going to switch to my looking down view. I'm going to create a single line change my layer color, and I am going to paste or enter that number 54.458 into the command line for my length. And just so I get this lined up nicely and I don't have to worry about it, it's easier for me to work on, I'm just going to go ahead and center this up. So I'm going to go to my utilities menu, center object. Since this is just a curve, I'm going to go ahead and go with the default options, and then I'm going to move it up out of the way. All right, so this curve represents our finger line. So let's go ahead and make some text. Go to my solids menu, choose the text option, and let's see, I am just going to say... And I always do capitals because it, it works out much better that way. We'll just make something nice there. Uh, I like to use impact. Impact is a good one for um, the inside of rings. I also like to do bold just because it makes the letters a little bit crisper. And we're going to go with solid. I know the width of my ring is four millimeters and I want to have some space in there. So I'm just going to do um, two millimeters by two millimeters. So this is going to be how tall the letters are as well as um, the thickness of the letters. So let's go ahead and there's a representation of our lettering. And I'm just going to hover this over anywhere it looks centered on my line. All right, so if I come back to perspective, you can see that it made these letters two millimeters tall going in height, as well as two millimeters tall in this way. If they're not already, if you didn't already choose the grouped option, go ahead and group them together so they don't move. And using my gumball, I'm just going to roughly center that on that curve. Now that I've got that highlighted, I'm going to turn off my ring just for the moment to make my selections easier. I'm going to highlight this text, come up to transform, and let's see, where is it at? It is the ray along curve. We want flow, flow along curve. All right, so we need to select, it's asking us in the command line for our base curve. So let's select that. That's the line that we put our letters on. Target curve, that's our finger line. We'll give it a moment. And as you can see, it's kind of upside down at the moment compared to what we actually need it to be when we cut it into the ring. And it's a little bit on the tall side. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've still got my original letters highlighted. I'm going to flip them upside down, 180 degrees. This is the way we want it to read. So when we're looking inside the ring, it reads the way that we, we set it. Then I'm going to come here to the side view, and I'm going to drag these letters down. These are actually in a representation on that line like they would be against the finger line. So I'm going to raise these up about, oh, half a millimeter. And that should put them half a millimeter into the ring. Let's see what we've got here. So 
So there's our letters. And now we can do a Boolean operation on it. So let's do a Boolean difference of the ring, enter, with our letters being the cutting objects. And I didn't have my delete equals yes, so let me turn that off. And there's your letters. Now, in your render, if you need those letters to be a different color, you're going to have to separate the surfaces. The easiest way to do that is to explode. Okay, and then I'm going to change the layer of the outside ring. Turn that off for just a moment. What I'm going to look is for the high flat pieces that would set inside the center of some of these things, like, you know, the center of the O, for example, the uh, center portion of the R, and if you happen to have any other letters that have those center sections, highlight all of those, and then make them the same layer as your main ring. So now, oh, it looks like I did I miss that one. So now when we do the render, all the high spots here will be one color, and all the low spots will be a different color if that's the way that you've chosen to set up your render. So speaking up, let's run a quick render. All right, so all of that is going to be just so we can see it nicely. All right, so I made that white gold and the dark green, again, just so we can see it. I've got a custom material here, so it should look like it's kind of sandblasted or still has the original cast finish to it. Go ahead and just hit render, see what happens. There we go. And it's done. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to walk you through it again if we need to. Anyhow, take care.